Hi Charlie. So, Hi Sarah. Thanks for coming to uh, chat to us today. So just for everyone uh, watching the video, can, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm Charlie Buchanan. I'm uh, a fourth year PhD student with Professor Andy Baldwin, part of the Kavli Institute of Nanoscience Discovery. And uh, yeah, we study nuclear magnetic resonance, um, particularly with a focus on understanding proteins. Okay, excellent. And actually, it's proteins that we're going to focus on today with your exciting um, new paper. So can you just briefly give us an, an outline of uh, the work in your, in your paper? Yeah, sure. So uh, we were essentially looking at how SARS-CoV-2, the SARS-CoV-2 virus might interact with the sugars that coat our airways um, with an obvious focus on how that might have implications for the disease. Can you tell us um, the main take-home message of the work that's that's described in your recent paper? Yeah, I think there's a couple of different things. So essentially, as I said at the beginning of the pandemic, we had this question about whether these air, the sugars that coat the airways of our, you know, our cells that are on the surface of our airways, whether they may interact with the SARS-CoV-2 viral particle. And so we had this question and we basically had to design a method be able to unpick this, right? It was a very, it's a quite a difficult question, it turns out, um, because of the nature of the two systems. The human body is very complicated, of course, and the SARS-CoV-2 virus is very complicated. So we had to try and sort of develop a new technique to understand this. Uh, and so there are both methodological advancements that we've done, which is a huge amount of the paper, really, and hopefully actually presented a new technique to be able to do this, not just for SARS-CoV-2, but for other viruses and other sort of not just sugars, but also drugs and other things that we might be able to probe the interaction between, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, but then there's the other side of stuff, which is the SARS-CoV-2 conclusions and the fact we did find an interaction between the sugars and the, the viral particle, where my interest sure. lies in it. So. I think the interaction of the viral particle with surfaces in general, I yeah. mean, okay, you've, you've got it with sugars mm. in, in our airways, but in general, sort of, you don't want to be catching COVID by touching something that someone else has touched. Yeah, exactly. Right. So that area, I think, of just how, you know, how can we make surfaces mm. infections proof? So what was what do you think was the most challenging part of the, the project? Well, I think the you know it's, it, as I said, it's a long project, and there was there was a lot of different. There are actually a huge number of collaborators, and I think that's the <laughs> very important point to stress. Like this sort of research, developing a new technique, we had to do. There were many components to the research, sure. um, and so we had something like forty authors on the paper, um, and so actually a lot of it was coordinating all of that uh, and trying to sort of bridge knowledge gaps. Um, so some people knew about the sugars, some people knew about SARS-CoV-2, some people, me and my supervisor knew about the NMR, uh, which is the technique that we've sort of used to, to unpick this. And so it was actually a lot about communicating uh, between all the people and trying to sort of coordinate a really big project, especially in lockdown. And finally, just to finish off, did you enjoy it all? Yeah, I think it was re enormously rewarding, and I look back at the sort of confidence I had at the beginning, and it was a lot, you know, a lot lower than it is now in terms of how to lead the project, how to sort of, as I say, pick up the phone and talk to people without being embarrassed or without being like worried. And you know, I've also learned a lot about how to push through to the finish line because we actually sort of submitted the paper a few times and got rejected a couple of times and these sorts of things, which were quite difficult actually. And you know, there's, there was this sort of long period. I think we first submitted in November 2020. So wow. you know, we're now, well, we're finally accepted in, where are we? May, June? In <laughs> June of 2022. So it's been, it's been a long process. And I think, uh, yeah, learning to navigate that is, is, is a great, great experience. Probably one I wouldn't want to repeat, but <laughs> you know, it was a great experience. Great, well, yeah, thanks for coming to chat to us and congratulations on a fantastic paper. Oh, thank well you very much, Simon. Thank you for taking the time. You're welcome.